Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you guys how to edit your own thumbnails in Final Cut Pro. Now if you're new to this channel and you don't know who I am, I upload new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, all about Final Cut Pro, filmmaking tutorials, and camera gear review videos. So those are topics that you're interested in, highly encourage you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'm also giving away this Google Home Mini for free once I reach 1,000 subscribers. So once I hit, hit 1,000 subscribers, you may win a Google Home Mini, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, now that I have my iMac all screen recorded, I want to go ahead and show you guys my process for creating thumbnails through Final Cut Pro. Now in this tutorial, I'm not going to use Photoshop at all. It's just going to be Final Cut Pro and Canva. And I want to go ahead and show you guys how I made all my thumbnails for this Final Cut Pro series I've been working on. So the first thing I go ahead and do is I actually take the picture on my phone. So as you can see, here's one of the images that I took off my iPhone, literally just off my iPhone, and then I just airdropped it to my computer. So that is literally what the image looks like and all I do is I go ahead and just drag it onto my desktop and there you go step one has already been completed so that's how I get those backgrounds they're not stock footage or screenshots they're literally pictures that I take myself so there you go go ahead and just eggs out of the photos app then go ahead and bring up Final Cut Pro now, as you can see I've already created a project for a th uh, my thumbnail template now as you can see here are the the thumbnails for my video, this, this was the uh, thumbnail for my color grading video. As you can see here are all of the different thumbnails for all the videos. So I used Canva and so on but I actually used Final Cut Pro. So for example what I just did was this, this, this little uh, Final Cut Pro logo that was done in Photoshop. But again, you don't have to use Photoshop. You don't have to use this logo. This is just for people who are making Final Cut Pro videos. And this is just because I have to use it. So what I did was I'll go ahead and I'll scroll uh, scroll down and uh, find a good image. So let, let, actually, let's just say I'll use this image, for example. What I'm going to do is go ahead and then drag it out of the timeline. And then I'll just cut it because you don't want it super long. So there you go. That's the first step. Just dragging in, actually wait a second, that's a bad idea because it already has the logo. So actually I'll, I'll redo it and I'll try to find, uh, uh, let's just say I'll use, I'll use this logo. So let's just, okay, so th this is a, a much better example. So let's go ahead, that was already a pre-made one. So here's the, here's what I want to do. So bring the image right here and as you can see it has this little orange date right here. Let's just say use that uh, special app. Just, I use that for a lot of my different photos, but again, you don't have to. So what I do is I go ahead and click on it, and as you can see, there's black bars right here. You want to go ahead and get rid of those black bars. So go ahead, click on the transform tool, and then there you go. Boom. Just like that, and then you can move it wherever you want. I tend to like this to be kind of uh, in the center, but there you go. That's how I go ahead and do I just transform it and just bring it up. That way, it uh, fills in the whole space so there's no black bars again it is all a personal preference now what I do is that this to me is a really really cheap hack I actually cut this out in Photoshop and used a green screen on it now what I do is I go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, drag it on try to there you go match it up perfectly then I'll just cut off the rest uh, because I don't need it so there we go now what I go ahead and do is I press this green thing and then I go over uh, to King, put on the keyer, and there you go. It's been green screen. As you can see, there's a little fade out here. So th th this is such a, a, a little hack and trick. I'm just going to go ahead and show you, but as you can see, look at this. Drag it down and see that little transparency here. All I got to do is just hide it. So you have, and you can bring it up, whatever you want. So you have absolutely no idea that was green screened. That to me is a really cool trick and that's just how I do it. Now, here's where you can have fun with it. I'm going to go a little bit step for, a little bit uh, step forward, do a lot more than normal, but again, you can just add text if you want for your thumbnail that you can add text. 
But also, what I like to do is under effects, go ahead and find blur. I tend to like to use blur, and then, as you can see here, there are. Go ahead and click on this. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of different effects you can put on to make your thumbnail look cooler. What I like to use is I'll use this one. So I'll click this onto my thumbnail, and then I'll go over here to effects and right up here, amount. I'll tend to drag it around, I don't know, 25, 30, because like, that's just way too blurred out. But you obviously don't want to see the, the image. So I blur it to 30. Again, all your personal preference. I'm just kind of showing you my style. And you can see what I do and do it a little bit differently, all depending on your taste. Now as you can go here, you can see here, there are a whole bunch of different effects. You can go through the whole different effects. What I like to use is I'll go to all and then up in the search bar, I'll just press in VI. Um, there you go. This effect right here, and you can see, I'll plop it on and there you go. That just looks a lot darker. So I put the image in, I've transformed it to zoom it in. Then I put the green screen Final Cut Pro logo, I made it blurry, and then I put that dark effect on it just to give it a little bit of contrast because when I put that text overlay, you don't want the text overlay to uh, blend in with this. So I mean there's, there's a little bit of white here so that's something to keep in mind, but you may want to get rid of that white, you want to reshoot uh, it. Maybe I'll put the text up here, but and that, that's the case, you may actually just want to blur a little bit more. but. And that's, that's literally how I uh, do the effect. Now what I do is I like to go up, go up to here, and then click Save Current Frame. I'll just put Thumbnail Test 1. I actually don't even know if I can use this title. I'm about to find out. So you save uh, the current frame. That's the beauty of uh, Final Cut Pro. So I've saved the current frame, and that's the template for my thumbnail. I'll give it a couple seconds, give it a couple more seconds. Wait till this loads out, and there we go. It's loaded. It's loaded out. So let's go ahead. My side of Final Cut Pro. Open up Chrome, and what I like to do is I like to go to Canva. Canva. Now again, you can do this all in uh, Final Cut Pro, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how I do it. So I go up to Canva, and then I just go over to Elements, and then I type in this little like box thing. I put it on here, and then, as you can see, as I can try to click on this, I can move it around make it bigger or smaller and then I just um, go over here to text I just put in the text like an, any just like Photoshop or any kind of photo editing website and the, and Canva is completely free so like I said you don't need Photoshop or anything else you just need to have Final Cut Pro and then what I like to do is as you can see uh, go to uploads and then I'll just as I can try give me a couple seconds and there you go thumbnail test right here I'll just upload it to Canva and then what I'll go ahead and do is after it's uploaded I've already created this template I'll go ahead and just drag it as you can see once you've created something you can just drag in a background so that's just what you need, you need to create a text or create something you can just drag it in I just like Canva Canva is a great place to create a lot of thumbnails you can see here are a lot of different thumbnails and photos you can see I use this program a lot just like that boom and then you can just change the text or whatever and that has how I create all my thumbnails yes I use Photoshop to achieve this but you don't have to achieve it. you don't have to make thumbnails for Final Cut Pro I just want to show you a couple of really cool effects again you can use you can use this effect right here just type it in or you can go to blur you can blur out the background you can just go to a whole bunch of different effects and it's all kind of your own look it's all a personal preference but make sure if you take it with a phone or something, you want to make sure that's transformed and there are no um, there are no black bars. Lastly, you want to go up here, click Save Current Frame, and that is how you save a still image. There you go. You have officially created your own thumbnail in Final Cut Pro. I think that's a really, really cool effect. And I don't think I really I didn't really know about this for a while. So thankfully someone told me. Because before I just kind of like use a self timer on my camera and then just quickly rain a spot and post for a thumbnail. This is just so much nicer. You can create your own thumbnail, you can create, take a photo, you can just sit, it's like make, create a video of you just standing there and then find the frame you want. I already did a video talking about how to export a still frame, but this is just a great way you can create your own thumbnails in Final Cut Pro. You don't even need Photoshop. I think that's a really 
uh, cool feature of Final Cut Pro. Anyways guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it really informative and really helpful. Remember I upload new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Final Cut Pro, filmmaking tutorials, and camera gear review videos. I'm also giving away this Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe to the channel, you may have a chance to win a Google Home Mini. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.